Let's tell her get back to the Carolina baseball side of things because obviously after you left, you know, the stuff with Chad Holbrook happened and Mark Kingston took over. Um, he's going into his fourth season, obviously, in Columbia. Just talk about Coach Kingston. I'm not sure. Have you had a chance to go back, meet him, you know, talk to him, whatever, and then just overall the state of the program? I'm not sure how much, if it obviously, you're taking care of your business, but the yeah. uh, the current state of Carolina baseball, we all feel really good. At least I feel good about this year's team and the state of the program and some of those guys they've got on campus. And you talked about Wes Clark. I mean, I think the dude probably mm-hmm. would have led the SEC in home runs last year with the start he got off to. But just overall, the state of Carolina baseball, and again, with, with Coach Kingston, have you had any had the chance to meet him, have any conversations, stuff like that? Yeah, no. Um, I was in Columbia from uh, the end of 2017 – uh, all the way for the next two years. Okay. Um, so I, I was working out there and, you know, got to have a lot of conversations with Coach King and, and Coach Mead. And, um, you know, I'm extremely blessed that they allowed me in there to get some work done. And, you know, uh, I was able to use bullpen mounds and felt like home, you know. And, uh, um, and of course, Billy Anderson's in there and he's a good friend of mine. And, also a very integral part of uh, who I became. And so uh, I, I think they're building something special there as well. Um, you know, I know Coach King is very analytical and, um, you know, Gamecock baseball has made that kind of shift. And mm. that's also what the White Sox are going through right now. It's just the baseball kick um, at the moment. And it's proven fruitful for just about anybody who, who's done it and done it well. Um, so I think it's just a matter of time. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer no matter really who it is, if you're, if you're able to, you know, stick with the guy and stay with the coach, um, that program eventually will get better. Um, you know, I, I believe that, um, it shows loyalty. So, um, you know, like you said, it's his fourth year. Um, he's got a good squad from what I've been reading. Um, some power bats, some good arms. So, uh, and, and I know that they'll have them ready to go. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I know I'm excited for it, for sure. Before I get you out of here, Tyler, we got to talk about it. I'm wearing the, the Beamer Ball uh, T-shirt. And, of course, I know you were yeah. excited when uh, Shane Beamer got the job at uh, South Carolina. And, of course, when they announced the South Carolina-Virginia Tech game, I think, in 2025, I know you were fired yeah. up. But, uh, I guess how cool is that for you? Again, like you said, most of your family is – Vatech alums, and we all know about mm-hmm. the great Frank Beamer, and now his son Shane Beamer is uh, the head coach at Carolina. I mean, that's got to be like, wow, life comes full circle almost for you. Yeah. So it actually, you know, it the hire made me care about uh, Gamecock football a little bit more than uh, maybe I already had. You know, I want to see Shane succeed uh, really, really badly. Mm. Um, obviously, he's been under some of the biggest college coaches you know, of our generation, if there's going to be somebody that is going to be good for a program, it's got to be Shane. Um, the guy's young. Um, there's really no reason as to why he can't be great. And I think South Carolina, you know, some people might have thought that they jumped the gun, but, you know, I think for what could become, it, it'll pay off dividends and, and loyalty down the road. Um So it was, but it's in terms of coming full circle, uh, I remember when that announcement was made, uh, my brother in the group chat said, uh, you know, Shane might, might take down the house that, that Frank built and, uh, (laughs) you know, given the state of maybe uh, Virginia Tech football at the moment, um, you know, it's a real possibility, you know, if you put it that way, you know, Virginia Tech was good for a better, for, you know, a good part of, 15 years or so and uh obviously frank being who he is shane could take that down <laughs> are you and, gonna you know you gonna, I, i'd like to see it are you gonna feel a little torn when the t- i mean i guess you're gamecock all the way right but i'm sure it's gonna be like a split household that day yeah so you know i'm i'm kind of hoping i'm kind of hoping my family will be there you know we used yeah. to go to the chick-fil-a kickoff games i remember against alabama uh one year and um, you know, we did a couple of those and, uh, and Virginia tech fashion, they never really won them. <laughs> they never really won a big game, but, uh, uh, you know, they're just extremely fun. So I'm hoping the family goes and we can kind of make a trip out of it. Um, I will be 
I will be there for the Gamecocks, so it'd be a little a little weird. I think it might be the first time I'd probably wear uh, uh, different colors while Virginia Tech's playing football. Yeah. But um, you know, it, it, like I said, it'd be it'd be cool and gives me a reason to be a little more invested into what's going on.